remember back in the 80s, physicists stunned the world. They argued that using the topology of space, that is various holes, wormholes, tunnels, and transitions to the n-dimensional dimensions of the cosmos, it would be possible to abandon expensive interplanetary rockets that burn many tons of fuel. The transition to another planet and to another place in the galaxy hundreds of light years away can be brought closer if you go through such a tunnel while spending a minimum of energy and time. For a long time, such a prospect seemed fantastic until in the laboratory of the Russian scientist, academician of the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, doctor of technical sciences, Grigory Grabovoy, I got acquainted with his developments and mathematical works describing the methods of such a transition. Unlike his physicist colleagues, he did not just fantasize with n-dimensional measurements, but gave formulas for converting the time of one planet to another and even confirmed them with experiments. And yet, having familiarized myself with the fundamental calculations, I involuntarily got upset for the terrestrial technique. Spacecraft will instantly overcome space, but on Earth itself, we will continue to crawl to and from work in unreliable cars, buses, and trains. On a business trip, we will fly planes that are crashing and use ships that are sinking. Is it really impossible to find technical solutions here that would ensure instantaneous and safe movement and at the same time would not destroy nature with harmful emissions? In response, academician Grabovoy invited me to a scheduled conversation with another Central Era Hydrodynamic Institute scientist Yuri Arutyunov, who is involved in unconventional aerodynamics and explores topological designs for future aircraft. I agreed and have no regrets. The plane of the future, according to the calculations of Grigory Grabovoy, will never fall. Frankly, when I heard this at the moment, I did not believe in such a forecast. Although Arutyunov, who came to the meeting, had something to tell. Having won a bronze medal at the International Exhibition in Brussels, the guest demonstrated the model. Special prefixes in the form of intricate bands of the Möbius strip are attached to the aircraft at the end of the wings. And the bottom line is that these forms entering the vertex flows do not allow the aircraft to collapse. The energy of the air jets enters so into resonance with the Möbius attached to the wings that the aircraft not only becomes lighter and consumes less fuel, it also reduces metal fatigue on the wings and the body. So thanks to this, any aircraft can be made more than twice as durable in terms of avionics and critical components. This would be a real salvation for our worn out fleet of aircraft. After all, the cost of equipment is hundreds of times less in comparison with the construction and purchase of new aircraft. What accounts for such an amazing result? Here, the academician entered the conversation and gave even more stunning examples 
of the use of the topology of forms and space, which can radically change the aviation in the future and are already changing. The new devices are already available in the models and formulas, and many have been tested. Super sound applause. In every interval of movement of the aircraft of the future, says Grigory Grabovoy, its shape in principle should change, and in a more radical way than a variable geometry wing. For flight safety, for example, the speed of sound itself can be used in the new topology. How? I involuntarily recalled the recent studies of foreign scientists involved in aerodynamics. They photographed in a special spectrum an aircraft breaking the sound barrier. When a jet fighter clears the barrier of sound and there is a powerful, like an explosion bang, then a kind of huge bubble is formed behind the plane, many times larger than the plane itself. Can it be used for safety like an invisible parachute? The academician confirms this assumption and gives his arguments. In order to reproduce the flight of, say, a beetle, as in bionic experiments, it is necessary to place <clears throat> petal vibrating plates under the rigid wings. And when the object flies, they will begin to beat against each other like palms in applause and at supersonic speeds. The sound form will keep the plane like a beetle in flight in the boundary layer. In this way, we can curb the dynamics of movement and make the aircraft unbreakable. In general, supersonic acoustic sensors can be put under computer control and the flight path and the number of collisions can be put into it. The mathematics of such dynamics already exists. It describes the transition level in the topology of space. And knowing the flow, we can control it. If we want to get solutions for other topologies, what shape to give to an airplane or an object in flight, then having carried out such experiments, we will see completely explicit laws. They show that their former static equations of Franklin and Zhukovsky for airplanes are becoming special cases of general laws of dynamic reality. Sword of Alexander the Macedonian and Samurai weapons. But if aircraft can be made completely safe using the shape effect, how will the shape work? Describing the mathematics of dynamic processes, the academician continues further. For the sake of justice, I should give a short digression into the history of the discovery of such unusual forms. Indeed, in principle, their use has been known since ancient times, millennia before the invention of aviation. True, in those days, unusual topology was used most often in military affairs. For example, we can talk about the sword of Alexander the Great, the original of which is kept in one of the foreign museums. In this sword, a small notch is especially striking, and due to it, when it was put into action, it did not slide along a straight trajectory, as if falling out of the visible space with its bend, and subduing the movements of the hand to a certain assignment of consciousness, the sword created a directed topology, working as 
a continuation of thought without much load. When experiments were carried out with the sword, it turned out that its shape gives multiple elevation of weight. The same principles of topology were applied to the so-called flying souls of the samurai. And in the famous epic, The Song of Nibelans, the main character, according to legend, with a long sword could smash an entire army. The metaphor has proven topological foundations. Pen and stones and a time machine. On the same principle of using the topology of space, huge stone blocks were moved for construction in antiquity. Both the huge statues of Easter Island and the statues of gods in Egypt, as well as the megaliths of Stonehenge, moved in an unusual way for us in the absence of machines and mechanisms. This was possible because the topology of all visible forms, in principle, always enters the n-dimensional space, and the necessary inclusion in it provides levitation and movements that are unusual from a traditional point of view. Even large pyramids can be lifted if the right point we cut a piece of the pyramid. Simply put, the world is arranged in such a way that if we change the form at a certain point of the object, then this form begins to rely on itself. And then we can make big planes lighter or move them at a very high speed. But this will be the next principle of movement and use of special topology. The planes I have described are based on the principle of moving into a little known topology. And the next step of such flights is that the form can reproduce its own functions. So in ancient times, in relation to pyramids and megalithic structures, cutting the shape was used in order for the object to become weightless. True. Such weightlessness does not last long, only two or three minutes, sometimes up to an hour. But this was enough for ancient architects. Naturally, if we have such an advanced development of forms, then of course, it is possible to create units that will move practically without their own engine resources or having them in a very small doses. This is achieved with small additional volumes. As I said, a large stone weighing a ton can be lifted if only 10 grams are clipped from it and it becomes almost weightless. That is, gravity is lost. A possible type of aircraft using similar principles can be already tested at the SAGE today. From the point of view of technologies of consciousness, which are being developed by academician Grabavoy, the new principles of flight are based on the construction of external reality. Various control systems are built on this principle. The best way to fly in terms of safety is to sit in a chair and control space making the world revolve around you. In this case, there is no visible movement. The object of movement for a static observer is instantaneous. And in vain, do some orthodox scientists think that such lines are unattainable in reality? The principle of such a movement has already been described in mathematics. One form, as it were, pulls another along with it and works as an autonomous source of energy and movement. Grigory Grabavo also tested this principle of movement so far, unthinkable for modern science. In a model installation, literally, on the table, 
It was in Novosibirsk while defending his doctoral dissertation. The scientist, according to his works, emphasized minus space. And when the lever for the past was launched, all those present saw that when the apparatus returned from the past, along with the clock, its hands were shifted in the opposite direction. That is, in fact, a time machine was tested. I involuntarily wondered, and the scientist confirmed. Yes, the task of controlling space-time was demonstrated, and fellow scientists made sure of this, fixing the result. And by and large, a purely mathematical law was tested. What did the experiment look like? A special shape was created that takes into account topological transitions. It was a petal, five by five centimeters, with a slight bend. And in profile, it looked like a flying drop of water. Two electrical sensors were hung on this petal, fixing the polarization, plus or minus, and the entire structure was placed in a humid environment. That is, they took water, populated it with rapidly multiplying microorganisms, and placed them in the petal so that it could be recorded that, having returned from the past, these microorganisms decreased in number compared to the control. For if there was no going to the past, the topological petal indeed dragged time back. A known principle of the universe. At that time, the scientist explains, several experiments were carried out at once. I needed to prove that if it is possible to go into the past and the future through the technology of consciousness, then it is possible to make an appropriate device. Let it be small, but at least within the table, as I said, it could move. To move into the past, technically everything was done with some difficulties, and it was easier for the future. It was not even necessary to make a human environment there. The structure of the future was fixed largely depending on thinking. The densification of events, the vector of their materialization, as it turned out, depends on the human mind in much the same way as the effect depends on the cause. For the journey into the future, two more experiments were carried out with the same topographical petal, and in them, the microorganisms, as it should have been multiplied faster than in the control, although no catalysts were used for this. The sign of a gap in space was used, which showed that indeed certain topological forms can be controlled instantly by ensuring the safety of movement. It turned out to be a kind of universal machine. A lever moved in it and it itself moved independently. It was possible to dive into the past for minus two seconds and into the future for plus 4.5 seconds. And one second as a coefficient has passed in the current time. All this was recorded. The leaf did not disappear. The experiment lasted only 7.5 seconds, but it showed a certain metamorphosis of the form in order to enter the stream of time to the future or past. The form had to turn over, just like in a fairy tale about the little hemp-backed horse or pull push. The end swapped place with the beginning. By the way, I found confirmation of such an inversion in the genetic experiments of American scientists. They discovered that during the development of an embryo where the 
insect or human. The initial stages, the embryo develops in a similar way, making no dis distinction between tail and head. This effect has been called the tricky word, Homer box. So in experiment of Grabavoy, the shape turned out to be similar. It turned over. The most unusual thing was as with the growth of a living thing. The experimental petal also recorded growth. It turned out that the world, as it were, is growing from one point all the time. And not only as a growing embryo, but also as an expanding universe about which physicists have been arguing for so long and enthusiastically. And when I could not resist asking questions, why was growth noticed? Is the analogy about God, the creator, really appropriate here? Uh, when they say about him that he constantly creates because he is all good. From the point of view of topology, the academician explains, the world is indeed creating something new all the time. One can even say, at every moment of reality, he, the creator, Demerge, actually creates it almost anew. If we trace this ideology in the control of technology, then we must admit that another type of generator is possible for civilization. To get into the future, then, based on this logic, it is only be necessary to have the right shape in the right place. And then one of the options for aircraft is as follows. Bring a special form to the airport, activate it, and the plane will immediately be in the planned place instantly. Is it possible to teleport to the place of work this way? and not to be late. Although in principle, the mechanism for teleportation is slightly different. With it, one special form pulls another form, but this is a special story. After that, Academician Grabavoy discussed for a long time with a specialist from Tsagi, Arutunov, how to improve the aircraft with the help of its attachments to the wings in the form of a Möbius strip. There were formulas and calculations, disputes and reflections, but I happily realized that this was only a transitional form to real aircraft of the 22nd century, combining two fabulous images at once about the magic carpet and an invisibility cap. The author of the article is Alexander Yuryev, Newspaper variant of development number 34 of May 2000 article. Is E multiplied by M equal to C square? Page 6.